Chapter 12. Can we sleep together? As the car entered Hyun Ki's property, Riel looked around the place with wide eyes. Bright lights surround the estate to make the estate secure. Then she asked in amazement, Is this your guest house, sir? It does not look like a guest house. It looks like a mansion on an enormous acre of land. Hyun Ki vibrantly replied, This is where my parents started with small beginnings then later expanded it to become what it is today. Though we were born in Korea, we grew up here. Then they were met by maidservants with the lady butler, Rosita, who happened to be the wife of Ben, the chauffeur. Rosita asked if they would still serve dinner, but Hyun Ki asked if the rooms were ready. He wanted to rest, then brought Riel to the upper level of the house and showed her room. As he opened the door, she gasped in amazement. Surrounded by solid glass, one can see outside the beautiful scenery with trees and plants swaying around with the wind. And the room itself is adorned with beautiful decorations with a small set of furniture to rest on. The bed looked so wide, spacious, and soft that one could fall asleep imagining as if taken to the cloud of beautiful dreams. Soft lights attached to the back of the bed served as glowing lights while sleeping. The room was impressive. But I'm not used to sleeping on a bed as large and queenly as this, she expressed shyly. Hyunaki suggested mischievously to her ears, We can sleep together if you want. She blushed in embarrassment. Sir? I'm not used to that kind of joke. Excuse me. Hyunaki came closer as if encouraging her, but she pulled herself aback by the wall. He took advantage of this and came closer. His hands posted on the wall above her head with a gaze of desire. Having mustered her courage, she kicked his leg hard, losing his grip on Riel. She warned him, Don't you dare, sir. In fearful tears, she cried. Hyunaki, although in pain, jokingly said, I am kidding, Riel, don't take it seriously. Have I scared you, with all the women flirting around you? I'm not like them. Still, you have the urge to play on me, bravely confronting Hyunaki. Am I that easy to get? Like your women I want to be free from trouble. Just look at how Cynthia becomes suspicious of me. I don't want to be accused again, sir. Hyun Ki was abashed by her statement and was about to defend himself, but he stopped. I am sorry, Riel Hyun Ki was embarrassed, then apologized. He bowed and left the room in low spirit.